Hello gamers! Welcome to episode 7 of my Let's Play series for Airships Conquer the Skies. In the last episode, we defended a mad scientist raid fairly successfully, and we declared war on Esseract, taking their capital, but losing the black eye in the process. <clears throat> now reflecting on the Battle of Esseract, um, I I acknowledge that I probably should have sent all three of my combat ships, the Black Eye, the White Raider, and the... And the third ship, whose, whose name is, I can't remember, the Rooster, uh, into the battle. And if I had done that uh, all from the start, I might have kept been able to keep the Black Eye. Uh, but instead, I elected to, to uh, fight them one at a time, and I, I chalked that up to inexperience. I think uh, in my other campaigns that I started but didn't complete, I really didn't get that far, and so I've really only fought sort of uh, uh, single ship battles or uh, a pair of ships fighting in a battle. And so uh, I think as we go forward, uh, I'm going to have to uh, think about fleet composition and how to fight as a fleet. Um, most of my ships have cockpits right now, but we will probably need to refit some with bridges and build some ships with bridges uh, in, so that we can really fight with multiple ships uh, on uh, uh, on the map. And so uh, that's something we're going to think about going forward. But for now, uh, we have sent the rooster up to, uh, up to this town here, Nimbus, and then we're sending the White Raider to Salgamar. Um, reflecting on this, I'm thinking maybe we need to just send something straight to Sudan. Because if we take Sudan, um, we basically uh, eliminate Esseract as a faction. Um, because they won't have any shipyards, I don't think, um, in their minor towns yet. Or they probably haven't got shipyards in their minor towns yet. So, uh, but for now, we are going to um, unpause and with also think about... Uh, building a rocket ship so uh, we have already researched rockets and we can build uh, rocket ships and uh, so I think um, the first place we're gonna build we're gonna start building a fleet here in Altenzal uh, with uh, the pale mare as perhaps the flagship um, and so we're gonna go ahead and build our first rocket ship now I've designed a rocket ship, which I've called, I think, a triples class rocket cruiser. This has nine rockets uh, along with two Latin sails. Um, and I think it's gonna, its design is basically uh, to sit on the far left hand side of any battle map and just you know fire rockets <laughs> even though it's not a long distance ship um you know i think the idea is really to um uh, to really just litter the map with rockets while we uh, attack um, with other ships um in close um, even though, yeah, the, the rocket's effective accurate range is pretty low at 320, but still, I think it could, it could uh, take on that role. So, anyways, we will go ahead and build the triples class cruiser. Um, actually, maybe we'll redesign it. Hold on. Maybe we'll actually put a bridge on it. And so, I'll take a quick look. Open design. Triple's rocket class cruiser. And I think what we could do is actually just get rid of one of the rockets. I don't think we need that many. And then have a bridge. We'll eliminate this cockpit right here. We will have that and then we will take a bridge. doesn't seem to affect too much. I think that is 
Let's see. So recommended crew three. So we got rid of two and, we, and the cockpit. So this we should be at the max at this point. All right, we will go ahead and build this. Take a quick look at our pathing. Looks good. Also explosion damage. Doesn't look like they would take any, the bridge would take any explosion damage. So that's good. Uh, and I think this is a good design. We'll, we'll build it. All right, let's build it. Oh, we'll save it. All right, six second commands. That's not too bad. We can we can live with that. All right, and let's build it. All right, now let's see. Well, now we're struggling for cash. Let's take a quick look at our fleet here that has all the supply ships and one the boomer. Uh, I was hoping that it could take a monster lair up north. Uh, something like maybe I thought there were some bees up here Let's see and I thought they had more supplies but I guess not hmm all right well we'll let them resupply and we'll think about that all right, well, unpause. We've got the revenge coming. Travelers heading up. Okay, Legion of Boom versus Esseract. Here we go. And this is the battle for Salgamar. So we'll move this. Let's see. here. Looks like they have two towers. We'll go ahead and start. Automatic <laughs> combat resolution defeat. No, I think we're going to fight this manually. And we will go ahead and start. I'll pause really quick. We're already on aim fire. The White Raider. Just go right here, right above. So I wonder, are these rifles or are they muskets? Actually, we're gonna move it maybe to here. We will flip. Oh, there goes victory. <laughs> Didn't have to do a whole lot, they surrendered. All right, okay, we'll take it. Gentle takeover. Here comes our battle for Nimbus. All right. We'll accept the automatic result, which is victory. Nice. Gentle takeover. Pause really quick. I think we're going to, oh, sorry. Gentle takeover. I think we're going to go ahead and send the supplier up to Nimbus. And we'll also send the White Raider up to Nimbus. Oh, well, when it's supplied. <clears throat> and then we're going to go send the rooster <clears throat> to Sudan. Yeah, we'll send the rooster to Sudan. This campaign's going pretty well, even though we lost the black eye. Okay, the revenge has arrived in Esseract. It's a resupplying. The White Raider, when it's ready, we're going to send it to Naracon. All right, Legion of Boom versus Esrak for Sudan, Sudanay. Let's see, automatic combat resolution, victory, we'll accept that. Gentle takeover. 
and then we will go ahead and send let's see gentle take over pause can I send the rooster I'll just send the rooster to Narlicon Oh, an enemy spy successfully acquired explosives. Okay, well, we're going to need to do some anti-spy actions. Or at least research it. Okay, let's see. This is an auto... Well, we're going to fight this manually. Uh, we're going to see here. How do I... Let's, okay. Let's move the rooster over to here. Take a quick look at what we're facing, one tower. So we're gonna get to the far side of the tower and then we'll start bombing it and hopefully it'll surrender. All right, here we go. Flip this, go like that, all right. I wonder if these are muskets or rifles. Hmm. All right, victory again. Gentle takeover. All right, we'll pause now and let's see our strategic situation. So, now we've taken over Esract and in a pretty much a blitzkrieg way we we've totally blitzed them and now let's look at the whole map and see oh wait esrak still has one more town here and they have a fleet there hmm should we go after catwick i thought we already took them taking them over but hmm, catwick's a little bit of a long way away Not sure if we can reach them. Hmm. All right, we'll send the White Raider over. To Sudan. And then we'll send the Revenge over. Ooh. Oh, we did send a, a fleet to the giant bees. All right, excellent. I think we can you know, take those guys from the reserve. This is, I'm not sure what ship this is. I can't remember. But we're gonna start. And then we'll Move it here. And I think we'll go rapid fire. So you wanna Because they're boarded, but we're hoping we destroy this before uh, they finish their boarding. Come on, bombers! Okay, not successful there. We'll have to send our fleet back. Tail, be tail between our legs there.
I thought we had enough in this fleet to return. Hmm. I wonder if we can just wait. Or maybe we need to send a supply ship. I think we have to send a supply ship. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Can I... Huh, can I send a supply ship to them? Can I just land them? Okay, that didn't go very well. Because now we can't get home, it looks like. Select destination to fly to. Hmm. hmm. I guess we can fly to Rizigat. Let's see, can we? we can because we have a defensive pact is that why I guess we can Let's see sent a diplomatic delegation okay I guess we can resupply at our defensive pact partners is that why do we have a defensive pact with Rizigat diplomacy yeah we have a defensive pact and a trade treaty Maybe that's why we can resupply there. Hmm. Learn something new. Yep, we were rearmed. So we could have actually just, maybe we could station our ships in defensive packed uh, cities. Guess we can. All right, we're gonna need to redesign the boomer, or at least send a ship that has um, guard barracks. So with that in mind, maybe we refit the pale mare. Which has a repair bay now, but instead, why don't we Or maybe we can keep the repair bay. Let's undo that. Let's just add. Let us add a guard barracks. can still add marines later right, down this way could probably add guard barracks here too hmm let's 
think I'll add the guard barracks here for now. And then use accessible struts over here. Okay, nice. We'll move the, oops, undo. We'll move the cockpit over here and then put another accessible strut here. Maybe a guard post, a couple of guard posts here. Two guard barracks, how about that? All right, how much is that gonna cost us? 70 bucks, let's do it. Maybe a, ooh, strut, strut. Look at the pathways. So really, they only have one way in. Looks like. A fire door here, quarters, corridor with ladder. We could move this here and then put a guard post there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, 75 bucks, nice, all right. Let's refit it. That's gonna take Seven days. So after seven days, we'll send them up, send the pale mare up to, I think maybe what happened was we maybe misclicked and didn't send the traveler with this fleet. Not sure. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and then have the pale mare go up to Thulu, pair up with the traveler, get up to Rizagot, and then up to those giant bees again. We'll give it another shot. All right, unpause. As for our war here, hmm. Not sure what they have here. Let's send a spy. And then our other spy here. Let's, let's view it. 47%. It's not quite enough, so we'll leave. And we'll unpause. I'm not super worried about this. I don't think foreign agents have fomented unrest. We really need tech to uh, counter the uh, espionage activity. Gunnery is almost ready. Palmer is ready. We'll send them up to Thulu. Or how far can it go? Maybe it can go up to Rizagot? Yeah, we'll send the Palmer up to Rizagot as much as possible. All right, so like gunnery is complete. I think the 25 spy defense would be good. The spy agencies would be good right now. Um, but if we wanted metallurgy, I think we could use different armor. So we're going to go with um, metallurgy. Even though mercantilism is tempting and uh, officer training and security services are also and also marines would be 
useful too. I think we're gonna go with metallurgy though. Reinforced hulls could be good. Not sure. Of course, mercantilism could be good too. Hmm. Reinforced hulls, maybe? Hmm. You know, on second thought, we'll go military training. All right. Pogora has declared war. Well, that is... They're going to regret that. All right, well, let's pause. Okay. All right, let's take a quick look. Let's see, they're at war with a bunch of, bunch of uh, places. Amarban, Reg, they're gonna be, um, <laughs> let's see. All right, they don't want truce. Cancel. Okay, so well, we could use a spy here. So you know what? We're gonna recall our spy. We're gonna send the spy here, and then here maybe we look for truce, make peace. Demand tribute, receive submission. That way we can focus on the other side. Although it is tempting to take them. How far is our reach on our fleet? Can we reach Catwick? I think we would have to, it's kind of a long way. The rooster can make it though with the supplier. Send the white raider over here. Looks like their revenge is going to have to go back. All right. Revenge is going to Alton's all. This fleet, I think, goes to Sloth. Maybe we attack. Maybe we do a two prong. We'll send triples to Thulu as well. What do we have in reserve? Ah, the punch out's ready. We could also send the punch out. Let's do it. I think we're going to do it. Okay, we'll send the punch out. Uppercuts here in Atterbury. Altensal or Pogora are good candidates for building a defense. Let's look at our defenses here. 
Yeah, let's refit this maybe to the watchful readout maybe. Watchful readout's a pretty nice little fort. It's got aerial charges at the top and rockets on the sides. I do like it. Um, thinking about it. And then we move it. Because with the rockets on both sides, it can affect the battlefield on both sides. So I'm sort of put, thinking we'll put it right here. And then anyone who comes at us is going to be in for a pretty bad time, I think. All right, let's go ahead and refit this. We'll leave. All right, and then I think I think that is it for now. So I think that's so. Uh, I think this is where we're going to end the episode. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this content, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. See you in the next one, and uh, keep gaming.